We're hearing Caterpillar's next gen medium wheel loader and the power shift configuration. There's some key things the operator needs to be aware of about this machine so that they can be comfortable and perform well with this machine. One of the most important things to be aware of in this machine is how to shift the machine and what the auto shift modes mean to me as an operator. In order to shift the power shift machine, I simply use my roller on my left hand steering device. If I go up with the roller, the machine is going to shift up. If I go down with the roller, the machine is going to shift down. I also have many different auto shift modes available to me as an operator. I can cycle through those auto shift modes using the bottom left button on my B-pillar, button labeled auto. If I depress that button, it cycles through all my auto shift modes. You can see them changing. I can now I'm in one through drive, which means the machine will automatically shift from first gear all the way to drive and also back down if it sees fit. Using this button, I can cycle through all my automatic transmission shift modes. I can also return to manual. Manual mode gives me as an operator complete control of the shifting. The machine will do no automatic shifting on its own. I have to control all the shifting. If I'm in any of the auto shift modes and I still want to shift the machine, I can always override that using the thumb roller on my left hand steering device. Does not matter the auto shift mode I'm in. I also have a kick down button on my implement control. The kick down button allows me as an operator, say I'm loading trucks, I'm running around in second gear, I want to enter the pile, I want that machine to downshift to first gear so I can load my bucket. I simply hit my kick down button, the machine will downshift into first gear, I enter the pile, grab a bucket, as soon as I go back to reverse, the machine will shift automatically back into the second gear and I can carry on to my truck. Very important feature that many operators are not aware of. If I downshift the machine into first gear using my left hand roller, typically when I reverse the machine, it's still going to be in first gear and it's kind of an annoyance to the operator to always have to continue to shift that machine back into second gear. If I'm in an auto shift configuration, the machine may downshift when it feels me enter the pile, depending on what mode I'm in. I also have a neutralizer on my power shift machine. Neutralizer is very, very important. Many operators are unaware of what it does and what it can do for them. I have three modes in my neutralizer, which I can cycle through using the button on my B pillar, the bottom right button. I can select level operation, moderate slope or aggressive slope, or I can disable the neutralizer. Those modes change how much left pedal I need to push in order for the machine to engage the neutralizer. If I have the neutralizer completely turned off or disabled, my left pedal is braking only and I will not get into my neutralizer whatsoever. This can be very important. If an operator finds themselves constantly waiting for the hydraulics to catch up, say I'm traveling to the truck, I'm giving quite a bit of left pedal depression to wait for those hydraulics to get to the lift I want. That can cause massive heat problems in the braking system as well as premature axle wear. If I'm finding myself constantly waiting on the hydraulics, I need to consider either using my neutralizer settings so that when I depress the left pedal, it's gonna cut propulsion to the machine or I need to consider splitting my lift. What I mean by that is when I go into the pile and get a bucket, I need to continue my lift path as I come back. I need to be about halfway to my truck height as I travel to the truck, I continue my lift height. This reduces premature wear and brake temperature on the machine. Very important for the operator to understand what the neutralizer can do for them. I also have my lockup clutch button over here on my B pillar. My lockup clutch button allows me to select whether my lockup clutch engages from third gear to drive or from second gear to drive. Different situations and different operator preferences I may need to adjust when I want my lockup clutch to come on. When the lockup clutch does engage, there is a symbol that comes up on my main display that lets me know that the lockup clutch is engaged. I also have on my power shift machines, similar to the XC, my HP plus button or my performance mode button. If I touch the button on my B pillar, it cycles between standard and performance mode. We find standard is perfectly adequate in most situations. If the operator is in a situation where they demand the max the machine can produce, max hydraulic power along with steering and possibly propulsion power. They're in a very aggressive application. They're in a very busy moment. You may need to engage your performance mode. Keeping in mind, this is always gonna sacrifice fuel economy on the machine. Like I stated before, we find that standard mode with most operators is perfectly adequate in most situations. You don't need to just turn HP plus on because you think it's gonna give you more benefits. If you want to know any more about this machine's features and benefits, consult your operation and maintenance manual, or possibly take a look at many of the other videos we have on the features of the next-gen medium wheel loaders.